everybody, Cyber Circus here. Welcome back to the railway. <laughs> Welcome back to a December the first, well, not the first December, the third of December, and the first Christmas themed layout. So, and to start off with this December Christmassy themed layout, I decided to do an unboxing and review. I've done for a while now. So, today is a train set, which is actually from my uncle, which is actually a Hornby Triang. Triang train set, which is this. Yeah, that's a bit big. The Freightliner Hornby Triang freight set, as you can see there. A Class 31 diesel and pulling some freight. Woo! Yes. It's, <laughs> it's really exciting. Uh, this is probably the. <laughs> Now, this is very old, uh, so it's probably at the very least 60 years old, so it's be very careful. So I'll show you the locomotive first. So, here it is. Here's the class 31. As you can see, it's number D5572. This, this one doesn't have a name, but on the front it says... There, it's about at the back. D not nine D eight O. Can you see that end? Yeah, that's better. It's better that end. You can definitely tell which is the non-used side. So the front with oh hang on. Wagons. Just so all the details then. I think six wagons plus brake van. Here's some wagons for you. Very nice wagons. Thank you for that. And obviously, the brake van as well. Very nice. So, I think it's time to move on. Put these wagons out. To detail and find out what the major detail this train set has for us today. So, here we have the locomotive. I will get some right from race check the detail already. It's already a little bit slightly weathered actually. It's actually quite clean at the top, but dirty at the bottom, which is normal for I think this was built in nineteen ah nineteen fifty seven to nineteen sixty while two, yeah. So uh, they were built from five uh, the D five hundreds, five hundred D five fives D five five thousand five hundreds to the D five thousand seven hundred then the five thousand eight hundreds to the five thousand nine hundreds. That's, that's a number, by the way. If that doesn't make any sense to you, then oh dear. So as you can see, he's got the late British Railways crest on the side. And for the first time, I've actually got some of these headboards at each end. But uh, three of my diesels do not have them. Although the Delta sort of doesn't, but it has a uh, light at the front instead of a headboard. So yeah, and obviously the, the Delta light up, but... It's slightly rusty at the... Oh, actually, it's not rusty, it's just a bit dirty at the other couplings. So, yeah. So, I'll move on to the wagons. I'll bit them all in. Because they take forever to get, get through each and every one. So, I'll just dump them all in. So, here we go. And so, here we are the first few wagons, as you can see. Now, these ones are just normal ones. They don't do anything special. As you can see, you've got a cattle box at the end. I think this is sort of a luggage, a very small luggage coach, which is quite nice. I've already got a luggage coach, but there's some, and this one's, I think this is British Railways, which is nice. Then we've got a Tango, UD, don't know what it is. Probably the people who make up gags are probably going to do something rude, but I probably say it's Universal Designers. Uh, that's just what I think. Yeah. And as you can see, you've got 20 ton brake van. As you can see, it's a 20, 20, 20 tons on the side. Now, I'm going to show the next ones, which are a little bit different to the others. I wonder if you can figure out why. And so here we have the very special wagons and flatbed. Mm -hmm. So this one here, which is the open wagon, I think it's a two planker tar wagon. The special thing about this is this. So the side comes down, so you can use your slide things in instead of just dropping them in, in the top. Unlike these ones. So, put them back up. And easy, just click them into place, that is, if I don't do a hill. The one in the middle, 
the whole box comes off. We can move this box out of the way. It was not, it does come off. There we go. As you can see, nothing inside. Now, I'm not sure if you can hear this, but there's insane, strange tunes going around. That's because the Santa on the sleigh, being pulled by a some kind of Land Rover, just came past my house. So I had to nip downstairs, give some money, and then come back home. And I, actually, because I got the window, it um, it's vibrating the whole layout. Everything's just so boom, 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 boom. No trains. Anyway, so this is what this flatbed holds. Some power. No, these are actually some British Railways. 12... <laughs> how many tons? Four ton batteries. What on earth? Four ton batteries. Thank God they weren't real. Well, they were real in the world. It's just that... Four tons. Why do you need four tons for a battery? Well, I guess she's powering some big diesels. Yeah, I can still hear it. It's properly going for it. Anyway, I think it's time to test the diesel. So I'll see you in a minute when I get this diesel about down onto the track and get the wagons into the right position for it to couple up to. So I'll see you in a minute. And so here we have the class 21. Diesel off. Cool. Yeah, the black, the white background because it's just a couple of inches away. Down onto the outside track, ready for its first test run. So, without further ado, let's make it. Hear it. Now, that is a very loud sound. And unfortunately, it's crossed out already, so we nudge. More power. Oh, it's moving. Yeah, it doesn't. Trying locomotives don't like going slow, they like going fast. Right. Come on, more power. More power. Whoa. Okay, it's a little bit jumpy at first. There it goes. Oh, there's a nice trying smell coming from it. There we go. Yeah, for some reason it doesn't like doing this. And I don't know why. Slow speed. Oh, this is just quite again. That's probably as best as it can do because it's going to keep cutting out. And. Yeah. Doesn't like going low speeds. Do they low speeds? I said slow speeds, my man. Go on. There we go. Alright, I think it's time to get this Class 31 diesel coupled up to its freight train. I've already tested it in just before, and also it has been tested by my uncle. So, there's the Versus Class 31, and I'll see you over at the station for its freight train. Also, if it doesn't cut out, dummy. Oh, it's cut out again. Let me just sort that out. Ugh, see you at the station. And so here we are at the station. As you can clearly see, it's class 41 with the exact number, but order the wagons came in on the box. Because I can copy it. You'll see in a minute. But on the inside track, I've got the class 43 because it's a class 31 to class 33. So sort of okay. And with the first Christmas train of the year. With the containers wrapped in wrapping paper, and I got also got a box wagon at the end with a Great Western Railway brake van, just for mix. So anyway, let's get the. Oh, I'm also adding some signals over here. Don't want to go. Get to the part and it stops. So let's get the class with one diesel off and running. Hope it doesn't cut out already. I'm just doesn't like going round the like that. Love that. Try to go at full speed. Come on, come on, come on. Who's that? Oh, it's just cut out. Oh, that's a 
The coffee will run soon, it will be better. Anyway. And the car flew through diesel. The first bit is driving. And there it goes. I'll show you the car's 31 diesel to come through and I'll show you around the line. Light dusting or snow layout. So, let's enjoy this running session. So, as you can clearly see, there's a light dusting of snow. Hopefully, these, well, presents will not derail because they keep derailing. Well, the flatbeds keep derailing. And there goes the car for one diesel. Uh, full speed that is. That's fast. I mean, that's not the fastest look in those, but it's a perfect speed, I would say. I don't know why this dusting of snow has fallen off. So there it goes. This, this is the third day of Christmas, so we're just a little early. So, oh, ah, uh, let's hold on a minute. But there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Those presents really fell off. So, and there's the case again. So, uh, sort that bridge out. So, as you can see over here, there's been light dusting of snow over here as well. And there goes the class 31 diesel. For some reason, the class of three just stops. And also, those presents do not look good. And so, there it goes. There's the box again. And there it goes in the gap. The love is looking most already. Right, and with that, I think that's all I've got time for today. Until next time, I'll do a mystery box of boxing. And maybe that is. So, uh, I'll see you the next one. I have a good rest of your day for the classic one around. And there it goes. And the class you want, 33 has already disappeared somewhere. Oh, wow. Well, there it is over there. Yeah, those, those flatbeds do not like those presents. Anyway, catch you on the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Cheerio, everyone.